Hello everyone. Welcome to JDBots repository. In this video, we are showing you a quick demonstration of a very simple flow that we have created using Power Automate Cloud and Power Automate Desktop. So the use case is go to any website. Uh, let's suppose uh, I'm just going to jdbots.com. Here, when you open any website, in our case, it is jdbots.com. Here on our website, we have to search for a text and check if it is available or not. So we are making use of this particular text and we are checking if it is available on this website or not. And the text is subscribe to blog via email. And we have created this simple web automation using Power Automate Desktop. And I'll open this flow. All right, so here in the first step, what I am doing, I'm launching a new browser. In this case, I am using Microsoft Edge and the properties that I am passing to this particular action is the URL that is navigating to the website and it is a new instance. So I am just storing this particular instance in a browser variable. The next I am using is setting the variable. This is the default value that I am setting it initially whether the text is found or not and I'm setting its value as false. Just remember, this is not a Boolean. It is a text value that I'm setting. On the right hand side, I have created this particular variable that is text found. When I open this and check these properties, it is the name is the text found. It is of the type text that is a string variable and external name is text found. So I'm using the same ex as the external name because this external name will be used in the Power Automate Cloud version. All right. So this is the properties that I have set for the output variable. Okay. Now on the next step, I'm using a action that is if web page contains. So this is the important action that we are using here and this is available inside browser automation browser automation you see this first action that is if web page contains so we are using this particular action for our purpose and it is basically a if condition and if my text is present on that web page then i am setting a variable text found to value is true and just remember this is the string value this is not a boolean okay so after setting the value i'm just closing my browser now if my text is found i have to send some message to microsoft teams channel you can send an email as well but what we are doing is because this request came from one of our subscribers and uh, they said that okay they need to search a text on the website and they have to send a message on teams channel that is microsoft teams channel so that comes our next part we go to the mic the cloud version that is power automate cloud i create a very simple flow this is the flow that i have created let me click on edit Okay, so this the trigger is manually trigger flow. This we are doing it manually. You can either schedule or you can start based on some other trigger as well. And we are using the action as run a flow built with Power Automate for desktop. And we are using machine runtime for the connection. We are not using the gateway because that's the gateway is currently now deprecated. So we are using this machine runtime. It's again a premium feature of Power Automate. And I'm selecting my flow and it is the attended flow. Yeah. 
and the next section that I am adding is post a message in a chat or channel. So this particular action, my run a flow action, generates a variable text bound that we have created in Power Automate Desktop, right? And here I'm just uh, selecting like who will be sending the message. I can send it as myself or I can send it as a bot. So I'm using as flow bot and I'm selecting the channel. I can send it in the chat as well. I can send it in a team meeting as well or group chat, right? So I am sending in a chat, in a channel. And the channel name is, uh, sorry, the team name is team one and the channel name is general, okay? So what message I'm sending? I'm just um, concatenating my this particular text with the whatever the value is getting saved inside the text found variable okay so let me quickly open the teams and show you the message that i have received and this is my team name that is team one and this is my channel that is general and here it is how it will be sent jagdish kumar via power automate all right so let's suppose if i want to send it as myself only without having this extra like as think it as a bot because this is bot sending a message if suppose i have to send it as myself I, then i can make changes to this particular flow okay send as myself you can just open this drop down and see uh, various options that you get as a user or as a power virtual agents so you can send it as a user as well okay so this is the message that uh, i have received text found through you can draft it according to your needs yeah this is very simple implementation of searching a text on a web page and sending a message to your team or sending an email to your team you can send it an email as well but in our use case we are sending a message on a team's channel. Alright. Thank you all.